Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In the first lesson, we've simulated the process of sending and receiving SMS. Generally speaking, we have three components, SMS sender, SMS center, and SMS receiver. We have a simple SMS receiver written in Java. We also have an SMPP SIM acting as an SMS center. We even have the source code as an SMPP SIM. The sender is a web page. Question. Is there any other way to send messages to SMPP SIM? Actually, there are three ways to do it. Web form is actually what we've been using. The second way is to bind transmitter and submit requests to the SMS center. The third way is to use a CSV file named deliverMessages.csv. Why don't we start from what we already have? Let's go to the SMPP user guide. The link is in the description below. You can also find it where we download the SMPP SIM. Here. Scroll down to the mobile oriented messages. The MO injection form is actually referring to the sender web page we've been using. And here it says the default connection port is 80, but in fact, it is 88, not 80. Let's have our SMS center and receiver ready. If you don't have any of them, you can go watch the previous tutorial or the first one. My SMPP simulator in the download folder. Computer. Download. SMPP sim. Start SMPP sim. Here we go, let's open it up. I think it is loading. Okay, the receiver is in my Eclipse. Here we can see a Java project, simple SMS receiver. And let's expand it and find out source code and let's run it. Everything is working fine on my computer, but I guess you have to change the IP address here. Here. I need to know my IP address. Go to the command line. Type ipconfig. This and this has to be the same. The system ID, password, bind port are all specified in the SMPP sim.props. Now we can open the browser and go to the sender page. It's in my IP address at port 88. Click here. And here. I submitted a message. Firstly, the SMPP SIM should receive the message. See? And the receiver got it. In fact, you can also go to the sender web page from your smartphone as long as your phone and your computer connects to the same Wi Fi. Well, if you're a programmer watching this video, you might insist on writing your own code of sender. There is an example on my GitHub page. I'm going to download the source code and import it into my clips. It's under the repository. Simple MO injector. Click this. Here, clone or download. Download zip file. Downloads finished. Find the downloaded file. Unzip it. I'm going to move the folder to my workspace for the purpose of easy management. Okay, go to my clips, file, import, existing project, next, 
browse and find out the project folder this one okay tick this tick box and finish all right the code is pretty simple all it does is send an http request to this ip address at port 88 passing the parameters here with get method change the ip address here and run This is my IP address. Let's save it. And let's run it. Switch to the console window of the receiver. You can also find this short message. Here, it's the same as here. See? We can find the SMPP SIM already received the short message here. Source address, destination address, message content. It's the same as here. In the same way, you can also find the code of the transmitter, then download and import it into your Eclipse. It's under the repository. This one. Here, clone or download. Download zip file. Find the downloaded file. Unzip it. Move it into my workspace for the purpose of easy management. Go to my clips, file, import, existing project, next, browse, this one, OK, and finish. The structure of the transmitter's code is quite similar to the structure of the receiver code. Firstly, it binds transmitter. In contrast, receiver binds receiver. Then, it sends a message by submitting a PDU to the SMS center. The variable request is a submit SMPDU. We are going to discuss in greater details in sixth lesson. But before we run our transmitter, we need to make sure the loopback property of the SMPP simulator has to be true. Go to the SMPP sim folder, com folder, this one. Let's open it up. SMPP sim.props, this one. Let's open it up. Scroll to the loopback property. This one, change the value to true. Then restart the SMPP sim. Then restart the receiver. Before we run our transmitter, as always, change the parameters, the IP address, the system ID, password, bind port, in order to connect to the right SMS center. The IP address, go to the command line, type ipconfig. This is my IP address. This and this has to be the same 
The system ID, password, bind port are all specified in the SMPP sim.props. The transmitter program I give you will send one single SMS and then stop itself. Let's run it. Switch to the console window of the receiver. Let's see what we've got in the receiver. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The same as what was specified in the transmitter program. Here. Okay, the third way to send messages to SMPP SIM. In the SMPP SIM folder, there is a file named delivermessages.csv. Here. Open it up. You can see a couple of groups, numbers, and some text. For example, the first line means this number with 07711 is sending to 1000 a message. The message content is a text message. You can change the source address, the destination address, and the content according to the format. Yet, you might have to change some configuration. In the SMPP sim.props, this one, scroll down to the deliver messages per minute. Here, set it to a positive number, let's say 10. Restart the SMPP sim and the receiver. You can see the receiver is receiving the message as specified in the CSV file here. Here, it's the same as here, this, and this, the same. That's pretty much it. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. I'll reply within a week. If necessary, I will even make new videos on certain topics. As always, if you learned something and if you think this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.